and drug overdoses across the country continue to steadily increase. And because those numbers keep going up, the DEA continues its Drug Take Back Day, an initiative to help prevent the misuse and theft of prescription drugs, particularly among children who were gaining access to their parents' medicine and eventually consuming it. And in the Pine Belt today, residents dropped off expired, unused and unwanted drugs to designated locations. Laurel Police Chief Tommy Cox says most of the drugs they got today came from the families of elderly people who've passed away. And turning over leftover medications can have a much larger impact than just flushing it away. Well, it hurt for me to pour 20 pills down the toilet. Well, you know, in the big scheme of things, probably not. But just at law, we've done over 3,100 pounds in the time we've done it, and the DEA has done over 17 million pounds in the times they've done it. So collectively, it makes an incredible difference in the environment and getting it out of the, uh, just out of the way. The event is held twice a year. To find a collection site near you, visit DEA.gov slash takebackday.